tukienda nikielewana na kilandi ile pesa tu ananipatia down payment ndio nalipa wale vijana pia at least tukuje tumfanyia kazi mm. so unapata kazi ni ngumu nafanyia ka, kilandi kazi mzuri 2018 tu ikakuwa ngumu lakini mimi tu nikamwamini Mungu na nikatia tu bidii nikaendelea tu na bidii yangu na bidii yangu 2019 2019 sasa ndiyo nikakuja nikaoa mm. wa umefanya kwa governor nani mwingine influential umefanya kazi kwake nimefanyia Francis Atoli. Haya. Mm, Nyumba yake? Eh, Kajiado. Nimefanyia DP Karen Ruto. Mm. Nimefanyia deputy Kiplagati. Hivyo ndio unaisa hii kitu ni kawaida kwake my people. <laughs> Turudi. Ati up... <laughs> Umefanyia Ruto. Mm kazi mm, kwa Karen. nyumba yake? Mm, Karen. Umemoldia nyumba. Mm. Ulimuona? Eh. Mulisalimiana? Kabisa. Akasema guys good morning and welcome to today's episode of inspire global now my people let me teach you something huh? this here is called mo molding the guy behind this incredible work is this amazing man right here he's about to inspire you with his story because when he tells you he has worked for the who and who in this country including honorable william ruto francis atwoli mps amenda mpaka kwa magavana amepanda ndege mpaka ameshindo ameniambia ameshiba hata kupanda so unataka nini sasa chopa yako <laughs> you want his chopper it's the work of this incredible young man here and guys i'm telling you his story is about to inspire you because this is a true rags to riches kind of story but full of humility and thanksgiving we are about to listen to his story but before lazima ni sema asante to our people at safaricom they do have an amazing initiative inaitwa twinuane na nikoshua mmeiona and they have amazing incredible offers to their members credit bonga points unaweza nunua nazo food but i like what they are advocating for lazima kwa he life twinuane sisi wote and you will get to experience it first hand from this man's story alex mimi nyumba yangu lazima unifanyie hii kitu uko ready mm. eh hey, uko too humble to hivi <laughs> <laughs> so guys uh, let alex show us around so kabla tuendelee sana mm. ndi umeambia watu inaitwa molding yeah, yeah, so hapa hasoa hii mm. yote ni wewe umefanya yeah, umechonga mm. kwa simiti Nisimiti tu na mchanga mm. sand sand mm. e art yote yeah. lakini mkarudi mkaipaka yeah, tukaipaint ukaipaint mm. na unafanya kazi na watu wangapi Alex vijana wenye tunafanya modings na wao eh. tuko 40 yes na wa paint wa paint ni watu 8 uh -huh. mm. na interior interior sasa madabel eh. na watu wake anajua anajua mm. so kampuni yako sasa mko watu karibu fote eh, tuko 40 eh. na kuongeza hao wa nini mm. wa rangi 8 yes tuko 40 mko mko 40 mko 40 <laughs> maybe for this is inspire global by lnn twende ni kazi guy watu 48 <laughs> tuone kwa unakumbuka kufanya. Oh, ah, hii unajua kabisa. Eh, hey, unajua kabisa? Mm. Ujasahau? Siwezi. Eh. Mm. Okay. Wewe jikoi umpeuka. Kwa <laughs> <laughs> majina anaitwa Alex. Yeah. David. Yes. Mimi ni mkamba, nimezaliwa Machakos. Eh, Nadia. Hapo hapo hapo. Nikoseo. Ah, nikoseo hiyo. Eh. Lakini jina la mtaa yeah. nafahamika kama Prezo 
the king of moldings. Trezo, mm. the king of molding. Mimi mm. nafanyanga kazi ya moldings. Eh. Yaani interior and exterior moldings. Uh -huh. eh. Ebu kwa ule mtu anatutazama mm. na elewi molding ni nini? Mm. Molding ni nini? Moldings eh. ni nyumba architect anachora, wanajenga kabla wakimaliza kujenga mimi naingilia wakimaliza plaster. Uh -huh. Sasa kuna ile decoration na kanga kwa pillars. Eh kwa madirisha, kwa maflower bed. Hey. Sasa hizo ndiyo moldings. Hilo umaridadi sasa. Umaridadi. Mm. So wewe ni prezo, mm. the king mm. of moldings. Mm. Waweke respect kwa hiyo jina. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hiyo jina. <laughs> hey. uh, Ulintumia email. Yeah. Ukanisho lini mi nataka kuinspire wase. Yeah. Mibi unaiza tuchapia story yako. Mm. Ijo iki tu ulianza lini. Mm. Na mibi kablata tufike kwa molding. Mm. Life mkigro ilikuwa aji. So maisha nyumbani ilikuwa ngumu mm. nikiwa kijana mdogo mimi huko ulikuwa napata tunalala na jaa atuendi kuenda shule inakuwa ngumu juu wezi enda shule ukiwa umelala njaa mm. primary ulienda shule gani inaitwa Changuli Primary School Changuli eh, eh. iko Machakos County eh. so unapata mi naenda shule lakini sometimes mi kuenda shule inakuwa ngumu kwani mlikuwa watoi wangapi kwetu tuko watu nane Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Babangu by the way alikuwa mtu wa mjengo na unajua sasa hii kujenga huko nyumbani unapata si watu wote wanajenga. Mm. So unapata per month ni kama ametiwa kazi siku mbili. So inabidi tukiwa shule tunaenda tunangangana huko vibarua mm. mm -hmm. tunapata kama ni mahindi ndio tunatoka huko ndio tuanze kurudi tena shule. Mm. Lakini tu mimi nikangangana nikatia bidii nikafika kila zaidi nikasoma nikaenda tena nini second mm. nilienda uni secondary school mm -hmm. nikasoma form 1 mpaka form 4 lakini kufukuza shule nilikuwa tu nafukuzwa mm -hmm. njua tu kuwa na school fees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na na mamu ya alikuwa anafanya job yote mamu ni ile tu vibarua kuchotea watu maji huko mm -hmm. nini hizo tu vitukulimia watu huko nyumbani mm -hmm ndizo tu tulikuwa nafanya huko nyumbani tukisaidiana tu na masista mm. lakini by the way kuna my aunt alikuwa na nini sa ile tu tume, anaona tumefinyia tumefukuza shule sana juu tulikuwa tunakaa na makazini wangu huko nyumbani mm. wao wanaenda shule wanatuacha nyumbani mm -hmm. so anaona tu ani anilipia school fees mm. niende nikasome mm -hmm. mm. na high school ulikuwa unapenda subjects gani na gani nilikuwa napenda chem eh hey, kwa ule ni mse wa kumix ma chemicals <laughs> <laughs> so huko ulikuwa unapata mimi huko napenda chem hey. lakini kuna kitu talent ilikuwa bado naisikia mm -hmm. kuchora nilikuwa saa by the way oh really mm. Mm. kuchora watu kuchora wanyama mimi niko tulikuwa sawa. Eh. Juu napata kama ni watu vijana wanataka kuchorewa, vitu zinawashinda mimi wananiletea. Mm. Na wachorea. Ukipata huko nyumbani kama ni watu wamefungua kinyozi, nini wanataka wachorewe, waandikiwe majina. Wale wa boy tulikuwa tunasoma na wao kama wako na tu pesa kidogo, eh. wananipea tu na wajengea. Prezo. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Eh, juu sina otherwise by the way mi vijana wamenisaidia sana juu nilikuwa na talent unajua vijana ukipata kama kwa form 1 form 2 anataka anatoka kulala kwa wazazi mm. so wananipatia kama mia tano na wajengea tu nyumba ya vijana kama ya room moja wacha huko mm. ushago eh huko ushago ulikuwa unajengeana hao eh, eh. ndio hiyo kidogo tu napata naenda na nunulia wazazi kama unga vitu kama hizo eh. Eh hiyo pesa tu nikipata haikuwa yangu ati ya kuenda kwa stare. Ilikuwa tunaenda na nunulia wazazi unga, mm. tunakula, nikiitiwa wengine tunaenda huko vibarua, tukifunga shule. Time ile mimi tumefunga shule, mm. saa mimi naenda zangu tu kutafuta nini kibarua. Mm. Kama ni watu wanakoroga huko nyumbani, kuna jengwa huko nyumbani, mimi naenda huko. Mm -hmm. eh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Na sasa uliona uko na passion ya kuchora mm. uko na passion ya kujenga mm. then uko na passion ya ku mold hebu mm. tueleze so hizo zote mm. juu kabla ukuja hizo zote ni talent lakini kabla ukuja kupata ile unasikia iko kwa roho mm. lazima hapo itakuwa na changa moto juu wezi ambia mtu akuitie kazi ya kujenga umwambie sijui kujenga mm. itabidi tu unaenda ujenge ndio 
ukimaliza kujenga unaweza pata akisema anataka mtu kama wa plaster na ni huko nyumbani hiyo tena unasema unajua mm -hmm. so hii kazi ya ku mold mimi nilienda nilikuja tu kujulia kama time nilitoka nikaenda Mombasa eh. 09 ndio nilienda Mombasa mm -hmm. na mamangu na babangu hiyo time walikuwa wametoka nyumbani wameenda Mombasa so ndio niliwafuata Mombasa mm. kitu ya kwanza babangu pia ni talented yeye alikuwa anachonga sana Hiyo time tunatoka asubuhi naenda na babangu kazini anaenda anachonga hizo sanamu tunarudi jioni. Mm. So yeye yeah, akichonga sanamu mimi tu nilikuwa namsaidia ile tumu sasa. Ndio mm. at least itoke vizuri. Mm -hmm. Kama kuna mahali naona si si nzuri mm. namwambia bababa naona si mzuri anarekebisha mm. ndio hata wazungu waindi wakikuja at least wanaweza nunua mm. tupate unga. Mm -hmm. 012 Ndiyo sasa mi nilipatana na waindi. Mm. Waindi sasa wakanichukua. Juu walikuwa nakuja kwa yadi ya baba wakivata hizo, hizo sanamu venya na chonga. Mimi ndiyo tuna wauzia juu walikuwa meniambia bei. Mm -hmm. Sasa 2012 ndiyo walinichukua wakanipeleka mamba village. Mm -hmm. So ukienda mombaza mamba village. Mm -hmm. Mamba village zile mamba ziku, ziko wapo zilikuwa za nini? Za miti. Lakini saa hii ukienda ni sasi miti. Mm -hmm. Kuna jamaa anaitwa Babos Deco ndio nilimpata huko. So hizo nini mamba tumetengeneza mimi na yeye. Mm. Mm. Ukweli. Eh juu sasa mi talent ilikuwa dho imeniingia. Eh. Sana jua kila kitu mm -hmm. kuchonga na ezamond na simiti. So unapata niko sawa. Okay. Ndio nikachapa job na huyo jamaa mm. kama kama 2012 na 2013. Mm -hmm tumepiga sasa jobu na yeye amenifundisha vitu kadhaa za simiti pia mi nimemfundisha vitu kadhaa mm. juu tukienda ukienda kwa ceiling ama nini Mombasa Mombasa si kama huko Nairobi yes. Mombasa ku mode wanatumia mkono yes. wanachonga nini simiti tunachonga na simiti mm. na nini na mkono mm. so unapata ukienda kwa ceiling zile maoteli kubwa unaona zile maua tu zinaenda zikichongwa mm -hmm. na nini mm. na mkono Hizo sasa ulipata mimi ni kosa kuliko huyo jamaa lakini yeye anajulikana. So yeye anapata nini ana, anapata deal, anapata makazi, mimi ananiita. Mm. Ah, my people, this sun keeps following me, Alex. Si mm -hmm. twende pale tuka sasa ile ndio parking. Akujeni please tukikulanga history huku kwenye kuna shade. So hii ni parking sasa. Ini kashe. Ini si ni kashe. Mm, parking. Si ni parking. Mm. Eh, I think director acha tuweke hapa, si ndio? So ile jamaa alikuwa ananipeanga kazi. Mm. Tukafanya kazi na ye, 2013 2014 bado niko Mombasa. 2015 nikatoka Mombasa. Yeah. Karudi sasa Nairobi mtani. Ukakaa mjiji. Mm. <laughs> sasa mi 2015 venye nilikuja Nairobi, nilikuja sasa kivi yangu. Mm. Kazi yangu ya kwanza kupata Nairobi ilikuwa kitengela kapata kwa madamu moja nikamweleza ile kazi nafanya so venye nilimwelezea akaniuliza kama naweza muonyesha picha hiyo mm. time mimi nilikuwa tunatumia simu ya button hata ikuwa na kifuniko <laughs> tell me about it ni ile una unaogopanga battery isianguke hey, isianguke <laughs> nilienda nikauliza foreman nikamuulizia Kama naweza pata kazi mi nafanya hivi, naweza warebeshe hii huku, wakaniambia forma ni wakaniambia hata elewi hizo ni nini. Mm -hmm. Juhu 2015, si watu wata walikuwa najua modins. Walikuwa wanya wanajua, lakini si wengi walikuwa wanajua. Mm -hmm. Nika muambia chenye tunaweza fanya, niende tuwa ninunulie kama simiti na mchanga. Nifanya sambo, ndi at least. Aone. Aone. Mi nikaenda nikatengeneza sasa dirisha moja sambo. Wa, huyo mama alifurahia kazi yangu. Hey. Kufika hapo sasa akaniambia tulipishane. Na unajua kulipishana juu mimi huko Mombasa nilikuwa nalipwa kisiku, miaina kwa siku. So siku ya mimi najua naweza lipisha pesa ngapi. Mm. Sa, Nairobi unapata mafundi wanalipwa 800 na mimi juu nimezoea nime Mombasa kulipwa 400. So naona ni sijui Nairobi wa, wakilipwa hiyo time juu nilikuja kuuliza baada nikaambiwa ni 800 per day mm. fund. Mm. So mi nikaambia hiyo mama anilipe tu 500 kwa siku. Oh. Mm, na unajua watu wa mkono walikuwa nalipwa 400. Huyo mm. mama hai akaona kweli. Mimi akaniambia padi atakuwa ananilipa 1k. Oh. Mm. Oh. So 
mimi nikaingia nikatafuta jamaa wa mkono hiyo nyumba tulifanya almost one month mm. ndio nilimalizia nika paint ndio nikaanza juu hiyo time nilikuwa na nafanya modings na nazipaka rangi nikachukua hiyo nini mambo ya rangi mm. nikapaka rangi mm. nikamalizia so huyo mama akikuja kuingia nyumba kwa nyumba aliita sasa wazee wa kanisa ma friends wake Oi. so venye walikuja ndio wakapata hii kitu Aka, akauliza huyo mama akauliza na hii ni faiba ama hii ni nini umeweka kwa ukuta ama akaniambia kuna kijana nampenda sana mdogo naweza mpatia nini namba yake muwe mnamuitia kazi sasa afta kitengela kazi ya pili nilipata Karen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so venye nilienda Karen nilienda Saidi Zaadi huko nikapatana na nyumba kubwa na huko hata kuna kijana mwingine mimi naweza muita Mombasa nilikuwa nafanya kazi peke yangu ule jamani nilimwacha huko alikuwa mkubwa wangu mimi siwezi muita alinikasirikia venye nilitoka Mombasa mm -hmm. mimi nikaita jamaa tu moja wa mkono tukafanya kazi na ye. Kilandi akaniuliza hii nyumba inaweza take how long nikamwambia inaweza enda kama three months so bibi yake venye alikuja akasema three months ni, ni mingi juu yako na haraka ya kuingia kwa nyumba lakini mimi nikaamini Mungu. So wakasema wataingia nyumba juu hiyo time walikuwa wanakaa nyumba za Korent. Mm. Wataingia ndani lakini kazi ya nje tu nitakuwa nafanya polepole. Ndio mm. nilifanya three months Karen. Nikafanya nilikuwa nika mara yako ya kwanza Karen. Eh hiyo ndio ilikuwa first day. Ndio sasa mimi venye nili venye sasa nilipata kazi ya Karen. Na hiyo time by the way mimi sikuwa naenda kanisa ndio mimi ndio nikaona Mungu ameanza kuninua sasa hiyo wazazi wametoka sasa Mombasa nimewarudisha nyumbani sasa hiyo mimi nikaanza kwenda kanisa AIC mm. nikaingia mambo ya kwaya mambo ya youth eh. mi sasa nikaanza tu kufanya kazi pole pole eh. nikamwamini Mungu eh. Mungu tu akaendelea na kuninua pale kare nikafanya kazi ule kijana sasa nilikuwa na yeye wa mkono mm. alikuwa mjaluo tukafanya kazi na yeye nikaanza kumfunza akaanza Good kujua job. Job. akaanza kujua sasa nikakuwa na fundi mmoja hey. tukimaliza sasa nyumba ya Karen tulikuwa wawili hey. tukamaliza sasa hiyo ya Karen nikakuwa sasa na fundi mmoja ikabidi sasa nitafute mtu wa pili venye nilimaliza sasa Karen huyo client nilipata tena tu client mwingine Karen aya mm. mimi niko na swali please Karen mm. ulilipa pesa ngapi <laughs> Karen tu nilienda tu na ile bay ya mm. 1k per day eh. juu yake landi wa kitengela alikuwa ameelezea ubeshti wake pesa oh. alikuwa ananilipa mm -hmm. lakini hiyo k eh. 1k per day mi kwangu ilikuwa mingi kabisa e, ilikuwa mingi juu napata nini saturday napewa 6000 so 6000 alipa nini na alipa rent anasaidia wazazi na siblings mm. mm -hmm. tena tukapata site nyingine Karen kafanya kazi tena Karen sasa kilandi mwenye nilipata Karen mimi alienda akaniambia sasa kazi ya kisiku kisiku iko sawa lakini ataona nakaa sana ndio tuelewane contract mm. at least ndio ni nini niharakishe nyumba yake apake rangi mm. we na contract hapo unashindwa utanzia wapi hiyo tu ni kukaa chini kwa sababu siku zile ulifanya kwa hii nyumba ingine hii ile pesa ulipata ndio sasa alinipatia contract ya 350000 ndio mm -hmm. nikaanza sasa hiyo kazi eh. na vijana wangu tukafanya hiyo tulifanya by the way tulikaa one month mm -hmm. ndio at least unajua tulikuwa tunalala hapo tunamka asubuhi yeah. mapema tunafanya kazi tunatoka na ngiza mm -hmm. tunalala kwa site tunapika kwa site tunakaa hapo mimi hakuna mahali naenda na sasa hiyo tunatumia simu ni button mimi sijui kama kuna mambo ya yeah uh, touch ya uh, touch hata si watu wako nazo lakini hiyo mimi time sikuwa na hiyo ati mambo ya touch mm -hmm. ama naweza ku advertise kazi yangu wapi hiyo time mimi sikuwa tukafanya kazi na wao vijana wangu sasa hiyo sasa vijana wangu juu nilikuwa na alipa huu fundi nilikuwa namlipa 700 nikamleta 800 mm -hmm. kijana wa mkono 600 jua wengine kwa field nilisikia alikuwa analipwa 500 hawa hii kazi ngi plus ta nini mm -hmm. ndio nikakuwa tu na vijana wangu tukaanza tu maisha tu pole pole lakini ni kungangana na kuomba Mungu mm -hmm. nafanya kazi Monday nilikuwa nafanya kazi Monday mpaka Saturday 
Sunday naenda kanisa, Sunday jioni narudi kale. Naenda tunalala Karen ndio tuamkia kazi mapema. Mm. So ukapata Karen imefanya kazi hiyo sasa seti ya pili. Nikamaliza. Penye nilimaliza hiyo ni 2016. Mm. 2016 nikarudi saa kumaliza Karen si kupata kazi zingine Karen. Mm. Nikarudi ni tena kitengela. Tukaanza tena ile tu ni kutoka asubuhi kutafuta kazi. Yes. Asubuhi kutafuta kazi. Mm. Ah, mi nikaanza nikaacha kutafuta kazi za kitengela. Nikakuja sio kemao. Nikanunua baiskeli. Ninakuja huko sio kemao natembea sasa hiyo niko na album. Naita tu mtu wa nini? Picha. Mm, anakuja na picha. Na ananipiga na nienda na nitolea sasa picha. Naenda tu natembea nikionye site zile zinajengwa lakini mimi si kwa naenda zile wanajenga nikiona tu ni kama wameanza plasta ya nje plastari ni nje wamemaliza ama wameanza naingia hapo lakini unapata tena wazee kwa field kuna mtu unaweza enda kwake akufukuze mm. hujapatana na kiland ama kuambiwa muachie namba hutaisikia akikupigia ukimpigia na kukatia mm. simu mm. Mi nikaingia nini sio kimao nikatafuta kazi na baisikeli yangu nikapata kazi ya waria kupatana na waria tukafanya kazi ilikuwa nini huko saidi katani mm. kumaliza huyo waria ndio akaanza kunifunza funza we nunua touch huku ndio utakuwa na posti kazi yako mm. hivi facebook nini akanionyesha mambo ya social media eh. yeye ana nini anachukua picha anakupostia eh, watu wake wale wako majuma waria anawatumia picha unaona nyumba yangu venye inaendelea oh. ni kijana mdogo ananifanyia kazi eh. ana mambo mingi mimi nikaanza kuinuka tu pole 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 na kazi yangu so hapo nikakuja sena nikafunza vijana tukakuwa tena tuko watu watano sasa kampuni inaanza ku group eh. uh -huh. nikafunza vijana 2016 sasa tuko watu tuko watu watano lakini bado nilikuwa na fresha juu ah vijana mimi ndio wananiangalia tukimaliza tu hiyo site moja hey tunakaa kama 2 weeks tuko kazi kila siku anakupigia simu hujapata kazi naambia tu wafumilie mm. tuombe Mungu tu mm. kazi zinafunguka mm. Nikaingia pale kwa mtandao, nikaingia Facebook. Ndiyo sasa hapo ndiyo nikaenda nikajiita jina langu Alex Modins Modins. Yes. Nikajiita jina Alex Modins Modins. Nikapata kuna ma groups ya, ya building. Mm. Nikaanza kupost huko sasa 2017. Kupost unapata groups zilikuwa I think zilikuwa mbili. Mm. Nikaanza kupost huko, nikapost, nikapost. Unapata naitiwa kazi, tunaenda tunachapa. Nikakuja sasa 2017 watu wa Stonat wakaanza kunitafuta. Mm. Wakakuja nikaenda nikafanya kazi kwa Stonat kama miezi tatu ah mimi nikatoka tena. Nikaona hii kazi ya kuajiriwa juu Mombasa nilikuwa naajiriwa. Haileti. Hii haileti juu utapata mimi naenda nafanyia kambuni wanapata pesa nini. Wewe unapata eh Mimi nikatoka na mimi nikaamini Mungu. Nilikuwa tu natoa tithe kila kitu nikaamini Mungu. 2017 sasa ikakuwa watu wanameanza kunijua. Jina sasa imeanza kuenea Alex Modins. Alex Modins yako sawa. Sasa hiyo hata watu si wengi wanajua Modins. Mm. Ukiuliza mtu akipata umefanya kazi mahali, anasema wale watu wa Mombasa. Mm. Jua wanajulikana watu wa Mombasa ama wa Nigerians ndio <laughs> wanajua kazi ya Modins. <laughs> Mimi nikaenda tu pole pole kwa field mm. tena <laughs> ikakuja ikakuwa tena ngumu. 2018 ilikuwa ngumu njoo unapata unafanyia kazi clients amja sign contract hata ujui hiyo ni nini ku sign contract yeye mnasikizana ukimaliza ile kazi juu unajua mkiwa watu watano mnaenda tu haraka mm. anaona ni kama umemlipisha pesa nyingi mm. na si pesa nyingi wengi unapata wanakupatia pesa wanabaki na balance after kumpigia na yes achukui hata simu yako mm. Mimi tu nikasema sawa juni bidi sasa hapo ina, inangangana ukipata nafanyia client kazi na nikimaliza kazi yake anipatie ile balance so unapata vijana wangu ni kama wananidai so tukitoka kwa ile site tukipata site nyingine kiitiwa kazi ni kama wao wamelengea mm. wataki kukuja kazi juu ile sijawalipa mm. nikitumia hata client message nimekufanyia kazi mzuri mbona usinilipe hii kazi ni ngumu yana niambia ana pesa Mimi tu naachana na wao. Mimi hata simtumii message nyingine hata simuongelelee vibaya. Mm. 
Oh, nikienda tu kwa hiyo site ingine, tukienda nikielewana na kilandi, ile pesa tu yananipatia and down payment ndiyo nalipa wale vijana, ndiyo at least tukuja tumfanyia kazi. Mm. So unapata kazi ni ngumu, nafanyia ka, kilandi kazi mzuri. 2018 tu ikakuwa ngumu. Lakini mimi tu nikamwamini Mungu na nikatia tu bidii. Nikaendelea tu na bidii yangu na bidii yangu. 2019 2019 sasa ndiyo nikakuja nikaoa. Wa ukaoa. Alex mbona umepingisha kichwa? Wa. Hai tuendele. Hai nataka kusikia. Ukaoa. Ding. kufanya kazi 2019 saidi za huko machako ah, makueni county mahali kuna itwa mkuyu mm. sisi tangu nilienda kumjengea huko sasa ndio kaenda nikapatana tu ile mnaenda kanisa ndio nasikia tu <laughs> nikapatana na msichana wa pastor huko tukakuwa marafiki na nikao unajua kuoa sasa na ujajipanga <laughs> harusi Apana. Eh, mm. ile kuja tuishi. Mm. Eh. <laughs> Yamemaliza shule. Hey. Mimi amenipendeza, sitaki anyakuliwe. Eh. Hey. So, o, ulikuwa how old? <laughs> Hapa. Sasa nilikuwa 23. Eh, hey. mm. umeona mtu amekupendeza, mm -hmm. utaki anyakuliwe. Mm. Aha. <laughs> Tukakuja Nairobi kumaliza. Juu tulipenda ni huko nyumbani, mi kurudi Nairobi na nimemaliza kazi yako ushago. Ndiyo mi na memaliza sasa form 4. Ni memuita sasa. Ni ile tu anatoka. <laughs> na aja tu wazazi huko wakimutavuta. <laughs> Haka kuja Nairobi. Tukawana. Tuka mi nikapigia wazazi simu. Nikawaelezea. Lakini. <clears throat> Hakaniambia o likuwa muaminifu kwa kanisa. Mbona umefanya hivi. Nika muambia mambo yote tu ni ya mungu. Tuwechie tu mungu. Na roho isha apenda. Na roho isha apenda. Eh. Halikuwa tu. Sa hile tu mi inaenda kakazi. Nikirudi na pata tu. Bibi yangu wako kwa nyumba lakini. Ni kama sijui mamake ya na muambia. Ja sijui ni kama na muambia rudi. Mbani. Mm. Hakaendele masomo. Sijui ni kama aliwadharau. Wao ni mapasta. Wameowana na arusia. Meolewa na giza. Haja wasaidia. Mi napata tu bibi analia ni kwa nyumba. So hiyo ni nyumba hata inamani. Mm. <laughs> Tukakaa 2019. Na ye tu napata kazi. Kazi tena zikaanza kurudi chini. Na nimeo. <laughs> Tukarudi. Kaya <laughs> Alex <laughs> wacha. Tutarudi tena kulala kwa njana, nimelelewa tu pale kwa njana, tuko Nairobi. Atuwezi. Na Nairobi nani ya, ku, nani ya kusaidia. Atuwezi. Nini katia tu bidi mm. na kazi zangu. Eh. Na familia yangu. Eh. 2019. Mii tuka. Juu hiyo time, mii naomba na muamini mungu na natoa tu fungu la kumi. Na nimeweka mungu mbele. 2020, likuwe historia. Ile njina Alex imenea. Kila mahali zaza nimejulikana. Kenya, mzima sasa nimejulikana. Sayo sasa, ah, mini meanza kupata matenda. Natafuta vijani, katafuta vijana neanza kuwafunza. Vijana naenda natafuta, kama nikienda saiti wale tu mafundi wanafanya kazi. Naona tu kijana hako na bidina, ni wamk... misi kuwa naita mafundi. Naona tu kijana hako na bidina, ni kijana wa mkono, na mnyemelea tu pole pole. Na mchukua. Na tena watu walikuwa na interest ya hii kazi sasa mm. nafanya. Mm. 2020. Mm. Na hawaijui. So, ndiyo wanarudi sasa kwangu. Kijana wanataka wafanya kazi na mimi. Sa hiyo sasa ni kama niko na watu kumi. Mafundi nilikuwa na mafundi saba. Watu wa mkono sasa watatu. 2020. Ah. Mi nikasikia sasa nimeanza kuenea kwa uwanja. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Jina inaenda. Mi inaenda napata kama saiti tatu. 
nikipata site tatu siku anafanya zote once juu tutaribu kazi tunafanya moja haraka tunatoka hiyo tunaenda nyingine na tunaenda nyingine mm, mm. mimi sasa kazi unasikia sasa ni kama nimeanza kutoka sasa kwa vile ngumu wa kazi yes. changamoto mingi hizo sasa sipati mm. vijana wangu nikaanza kuwainua vijana tu naemiza nawaambia kazi ni bidii na mali tu hata mkipata tukawa na changamoto ngumu hiyo wasahau mm. date 15 mwezi wa saba nilipata simu kutoka kwa Liroba governor wa Madera mm. akanipigia simu akaniambia nimeona kazi yako ni mzuri my first day mi nikalipiwa ndege nikaenda Madera Mm. mara yako ya kwanza eh, hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa mara yangu ya kwanza ai na mimi by the way sikuwa naamini kuna alshabab nasikia kuenda huko <coughs> kuambia nini mm. masista wangu wazazi wangu mm. naenda mandera wananikataza <coughs> huko utaenda uundiwe kwa hiyo unasikia mandera ni kubaya mm. na huku mimi nafosiwa sasa nitafanyaje already nimetumiwa 50000 na governor wa madera Nitaenda Madera ama nitakula hii pesa. Nikikula hii pesa si nitafungwa. Mhm. Mm nikaenda. Mm. Nikaenda Madera. Kufika Madera, mimi nikapata escort ya governor, nikachukuliwa, tukaenda kwa ofisi. Mimi nikaenda nikapatiwa tenda. 700k. Hiyo ndilikuwa tenda yangu ya kwanza kubwa, Madera County, kwa ofisi ya governor. Huko nikafanya sasa na wao nikachukua vijana wangu by the way walilipiwa gari. <laughs> <laughs> Walifika huko wakiwa wamechoka jiwa literal 3 days. Tia mami ameenda na ndege. Na huko sasa hiyo by the way so, ukabeba mpaka watu wako. Eh watu wangu walilipiwa walienda hapa nini? Cha muhimu ni umebeba watu wako. Eh. Na unajua venye nilienda? <laughs> siku ana nguo ya kuchange yeah, zile tu ninaenda nazo kufika huko mm. kumbe nilikuwa nimengojewa kabla tu nishuke hivi kwa ndege napigiwa simu umefika au unachukuliwa na mtu fulani fulani mimi nikakuja nikachukuliwa wa escort ya governor nikaingia ai tukienda tu naona ni hivi tu mimi nikaenda nikaonana na Liroba tukaongea nikapelekwa site kufika kwa site <coughs> <laughs> Najua venye niliwaambia <laughs> nataka at imagine nirudi nirudi tena Nairobi ndio nikakuja na watu wangu. Nao ndege ya Mandera ikienda inachukua ikirudi. Hakuna mm. kurudi sasa hiyo wakaanza kucheka. Mm. Mm. Hey, nikaambiwa vijana watalipiwa nini? Gari. So tena vijana nikapigia vijana wangu mm. wajipange mm. waende kwa nyumba waambie bibi yangu apeane nini mfuko kila kitu na manguo wachukue vitu za kazi wakalipiwa ndege nini gari mimi tukafanya kazi kwa ofisi ya Madera tukamaliza vizuri mimi tukarudi Nairobi alifurahi eh, alifurahi kazi yangu alifurahi vizuri mm. Nairobi mm. tukarudi mimi Nairobi sasa na vijana wangu vizuri ale mimi Alex nimeanza kupata pesa kama nimeomoka juu nimefanyia aliroba nikaanza kuingia sasa Karen kila mahali nimejulikana na nikachukua vijana 2021 ndio sasa mimi nikajulikana nikaenea nikafanyia watu wengi kazi nikaanza kupata kazi za juu nikafungua kwa mitandao huko watu wengi wanataka mimi mm. nikajulikana nikaanza kupata clients mm. lakini mimi sijaifanyia clients kazi mbaya niende na pesa zake ama udhike mm. lakini mimi changamoto nimepitia eh, eh. kabisa mm. aya mm. umefanya kwa governor mm. nani mwingine influential umefanya kazi kwake uh, nimefanyia Francis Atoli mm. nyumba yake eh, Kajiado nimefanyia DP Karen Ruto mm. kitu ni kawaida kwake my people <laughs> turudi ati <laughs> <laughs> Umefanyia ruto mm. kazi mm, kwa karin. nyumba yake. Mm, Umemoldia nyumba, mm. ulimuona? Eh. Mulisalimiana? Kabisa. Akasema <laughs> <laughs> Ile tu kazi kwa sawa tu anajipa shunguli. Eh. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Ni kashamba pale kitengea. Ah, good job, good mm. job, good job. Mm. So where hii Kenya uko na shamba yako? Uh, kitengela. Eh. Yeah. Wow. 
mm. na bibi ah bibi sahi yako sawa eh mm. mkopoa eh by the way sahi bibi ndio ana ana design picha zangu wacha mm. sahi hata kila nti nikimtumia picha si choki bibi ndio ana design sasa mambo ya picha mm. tumekaa ametubariki na mtoto niko na kijana Alex mm. your father yeah eh kako how old Sahi yako na 2 years. Eh. Kijana ako sawa. Mm. Mama ako sawa. Eh. Tunapendana, tumetoka mahali pangumu. Mm. Wazazi wake wananipenda sasa si kama kitambo. Eh wameona mm. utachezea msichana eh, wao. Sahi wananiheshimu. Mm. Tunawalinda vizuri, eh. walinda wazazi wangu. Eh wazazi wako wako aje <coughs> mama na dadu wanasemanga nini? Ai wako sawa. Mm. Ai wako sawa. Umewajengea? Eh wazazi nini tu tulingangana na masista hizo majengea mm. pia mimi nimejenga Alex umejenga eh. Ushagu uko na nyumba Kali Iko na gate <laughs> Ndio sasa inaendelea kujenga perimeter Ah <laughs> bro bana good job good job mm. Kuna ume mention vitu mob mm. Umeinua vijana mm. Yaani kitu inanibamba mm. uendi safari peke yako mm. mko na mabe, hata sasa hapa nyuma ya kamera kuna mm. tu mabesti wako wana watch mm. mbona kuinua mm. na sasa unaweza sema kampuni yako iko na watu wangapi for now mm. i have 40 guys kampuni yangu iko na watu 40 so alex modi for now sasa tukiongea venye naongea na wewe sasa hii niko na site nane niko siaya niko wapi sasa ile project hey, hey, ni penye tu anaisema uko siaya uko wapi kwingine niko siaya hapa tuko sioki hapa tuko katani hapa tuko katani pale juu tu niko na site yangu inaendelea hapa katani eh hey. niko siaya uh -huh. niko kisumu eh hey. niko mbondo tuko machakos mm. tuko na ingine niko kitengela mm. ile ingine ni gong tasa ile ingine sasa tunangojea ni MP Warongo eh. Paul Obor eh ndio sasa ile site itakuwa next ndio next MP Warongo constituency mm. Mm. good job thank you so proud of you mm. proud of you unajua mm. uli mention unapendanga sana kutoa tithe mm. bado unatoa tithe kabisa kwa nini tithe hata okay. tithe mm. ndio hata Na, mi hiyo ni kitu ilinipata venye nilianza kanisa na sikianga fungu la kumi, tasimamia uza wako, watoto wako, na vitu zako, na kazi yako. So ndiyo mimi na yamini. Mm. Na mungu ananilinda, na analinda kazi zangu. Kazi yangu inatokanga from nowhere, mtu zijai yona, mtu mimi hata, ananipigia simu, hata tukai, Alex, mi nimependa kazi yako, unaweza kuja site, kama ni adoret, wacha ni kulipie ndege, Uf umepanda sana ndege hai sasa hii sasa hii mimi nimezoea kupanda ndege hai mimi nimeenda nimechoka na <laughs> umepanda ndege ukachoka hiyo sasa mimi ni mwenyeji <laughs> Alex wewe ni pro yeah. uko proud ni nini ume ukijiangalia hivi ni nini na ku make proud <coughs> kama we mwenyewe kama kujua penye umetoka man mm. unalalanja mm. sasa hiyo na design ya hao mm. sasa hiyo umefanyia moldings mpaka William Ruto mm. umefanyia moldings governors MPs kila mtu mm. ni nini na ni nini ukiangalia una feel mm. man i'm so proud of myself ha, kitu ya kwanza mimi mm. nasema ni Mungu na wale vijana mimi naona nimewasaidia ndio wamefanya niniuke juu Mi vijana nimesaidia wengi wengine wametoka wamefungua kampuni zao wamejaribu wanipige wani, wakuwe juu yangu lakini Mungu amesema no Most si ati inajigamba mbele ya watu ukiangalia hakuna mtu anafanyanga kazi ya modding Kenya anatoka hivi anaamuka akose kupost picha zangu We mm. hivi tu mtu aamke hivi aseme ameenda kwa field lazima post kazi yangu ndiyo inuke na mimi naona mimi ile tunaambia vijana sawa juu anataka kuinuka mimi nasema tu sawa 
Mm. Zile za kitambo zote zinenea kila mtu anasema ni kazi yake. Kilanzi wanapiga wananambia no. Iyo ni tunajua, iyo ni touch ya Alex Modins. Na most guys in Kenya wanatumia touch yangu. Mm. How do you feel kuona kazi yako imenea sasa? Mi, kitambo, by the way, kitambo nilikuwa naona ni changamoto na vita, lakini nikakuja nikaona apana. Ha, ah, wana nijenga, wana niinua. Kuona kitu wako inapositiwa na kila mtu jua ni kazi mzuri. Mm. Na mi, nasema ni asande, vijana wale wanatoka kwangu, ju wale nilikuwa nafunza kazi wakitoka kwangu wakienda, akiniomba kazi tena, nilikuwa naona... Ni kama tu anakuja kuendelea kuchukua my ideas. Lakini, mi nikakaa chini nikaona hapana. Mm. Mali nimetoka, hata wakirudi, wacha tu ni wapea kazi. Mm. Wanaendelea tu kwa nini. Njua kuna familia, wengine wanasomesha. Mm. Njua meona ni mimi, wacha tu ni wapea kazi. Mm. Na tunafanya kazi na wao. Mm. Mm. Mwenye hii nyumba hapa, mm. usha muona? <coughs> mi sijai muona. Ame kupea tu deal na kakuwa mini? Tumefanya kazi, ai, sana. Mi ukila anja linipata kwa social media, mm. kwa diaspora, kwa Amerika. Mi mm. sijai muona, hata jai nipigia na video call, tuonane face to face. Mi tunangianga tu kwa simu. Kwa sauti tu. Eh, mm. Na mutumia picha. Lakini ukila anji mzuri. Umemfanyia hapa na wapi kuingine? Hapa. Kisi. Mm. Hata hiyo kazi inaendelea pale juu. Kiko na vijana wangu ni yake. Na ujai muona? Mi sijai muona. Ame kutrust tu? Kabisa. Na mshai kwa sana? Mi sijai kitu wa kwanza venye tuliongea na ee. Eh. Ni kilanzi. Juhile mimi nimejua ukitaka uko sana na kilanzi kuwa mtu wa uongo. Ama chenye ame kutumia kama ni pesa kununua material uanze kukula. Iyo ndio inafanyanga uko sana na kilanzi. Mm. Lakini mimi ya menieshimu. Nime muletea timu wangu wamepaka rangi. Nime mpendea, nime muletea madam mwingine tunafanyanga kazi na ya, naitua madam Bell. Yeah. Hame mdizainia idiria. Eh. Uyo madam wamefraia. Mm. By the way, hii nyumba tulipata ilikuwa na watu wengine. Mm. Lakini mi venye niliingia, nifanya kazi ya modings. Mimi nikamwambia, mi naona nyumba yako, sawa imejangwa vizuri. Lakini watu wenye wanafanya kazi, mi naona wanafanya fibaya. Mm. Mm. Tumu karekebisha. Eh, tukarekebisha. Mm. Juhu nikamuambia nitambatia madamu wa Damari Spell, mm. madamu wa idiri ya designer. Mm. Diyo mia kanisikiza, nikamuambia kazi yake ya nye imefanyika. Juhu, <coughs> nilikuwa nimefanya modins. Mm. Nikamuelezea jule jamaa, nili, jamaa mwenye alikuwa foreman, akaleta watu wa rangi. Misi kutuma timu yangu ikuja kupaka rangi. Venye walikuja wakapaka rangi, wakapaka vibaya. So mkarudia. Saa badae, client, iyo time, mi alipeana namba yangu kwa foreman. So sikuwa mi na mjua. Mm. Ilikuwa um, May, ilikuwa ni Saturday. Mm. Nikiwa kwa priwendi saithi za machako zindi wali, nipigia simu wa subui. Alex, nasikia watu wako ndiyo walichafua. Hii ndiyo inaitu under roof. Mm. Unaona hii? Mm. Walichafua mabati yangu wae. Mi kitu wa kwanza ni kamambia, I'm sorry, lakini si watu wangu. Kitu wa kwanza ni kifika site. Nilita wale watu walikuwa, niliambia forma, nibona wazea warangi, wenye walikuwa na piga plaster, nibona wakufunika hii under roof. Ya ya kaingino. Na mimi, juu, nilikuwa, nilikuwa nimeitisha polythene paper, nikafunika under roof. Kitu wa kwanza ni kingia site na piga picha venye nyumba iko na vijana akifanya kazi. Nikarudi tu nyuma, nikachukua juu nilikuwa nimechukua video mm, ya hii nyumba. Mm, Ndiyo nikamtumia, mm, nikamwambia, unaona siku ile uliniambia nienda nika meet na foreman na sister yako. Mm, unaona anda roof venye ilikuwa mm, na si kuwa nimeanza kazi. Mm, na unaona nikianza kazi venye nilifunika nilikuchukulia video kwa. Mm, Akarudi sasa kwa yule jamaa. Mm, Akamwambia mbona unanidanganya? Mi akaniambia ni niende site Apo kwa anda roof, nione venye naeza, Tenge, naeza faa, tengebisha, lakini hiyo mabati ya tatoa, mm. lakini tuweke pate ni hapo juu, yes. juu anaona, apendezi na hapo katikati. Wow. Mi ni karudi, venye ni, nilikuja site, nyo nikaangalia, kitu wa kwanza first nilimuambia, mi nilikufanya kazi mzuri, lakini kazi imefanya vibaya na watu wa rangi. Mm. Mimi ya ija nipendeza. Mi mkila nzibaidhe ya kani trust, mm. chene nilimuambia, Madam Waidiri akamfanyia kazi mzuri, tukasimamia kazi. 
Hii kaomba ndi naona iko sawa. Yes. Ndiyo kila ndi sasa haka ni trust. So anasemanga yule mudu wa metrust. Matiri. Eh, matiri yonaenda na nunua. Na mutumia receipt ya nini pesa hile imekosti. Wale mm. wengine hata wagu wanatuma. Mm. Watu wengi, mm. especially maju, mm. wana fanishangu wa character development yeah. wakijengewa huku Kenya mm. ni advice gani ungetaka kuwapea kwanza kitu ya kwanza mm. ile mimi naweza waambia si watu wote kuna ile ku trust mtu si watu wote na unajua clients wakiwa juu wanakuanga very busy mm. so kitu ya kwanza wanatumia wana na unaonanga hata kazi zao clients wa majuzi natokanga vibaya mm. kitu ya kwanza juu mwenye wataenda wapate watapata mtu wrong kama ni material aleti ile material orange anaenda kama ni kikomba nini anatumia zile vitu duplicate mm. na unajua clients akitumiwa anasema ako sawa mm. na wengi wanaumia juu naweza pata mimi naenda kwa adwa yenye najulikana naenda kumchukulia vitu tunasema vitu Kenya inatoka eBay na unajua kuna mtu mwingine anaweza muulizia mm. so anaona iko sawa mm. mtu wanakuliwa anakuliwa lakini hiyo mimi kwangu nasemanga si mzuri mm. ile tu kidogo unapata hiyo ndiyo Mungu atakubariki nayo ile mingi haiwezi kukubariki mm. uma da mimi na appreciate amenipatia kazi mingi na many 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 clients juu mimi nimemfanyia kazi mzuri. Mm. Mm. Uh, vijana mm. ni uh, tunapo vijana ungetaka kuwapatia advice gani? <coughs> Kitu ya kwanza eh. vijana mi chenye naweza kuambia wale wako pale nje. Mm. Kitu ya kwanza kama umelelewa kwa shida ama ukose kulelewa kwa shida na umemaliza shule na uone hakuna kitu unaweza fanya pale nyumbani. Kitu ya kwanza muamini Mungu, muombe Mungu kila mtu mimi najuanga ako na talent hata kama una talent ukimwamini Mungu atakufungulia njia kitu ya kwanza starehe si mbaya na ni mbaya starehe unapiga na akili hata kama unakunywa pombe una, una, unatumia akili si unaenda unakunywa pombe unaenda kulala mm. so vijana ni wandogo mimi for now i am 20, 28 years mm. ni for saa hii niko na 28 years mm. so vijana watie bidii na wasiangalie mahali wamekanyanga wasiangalie mali ama waone juu baba zao wako na plot mm. ndio mm -mm. waangalie mbele mm. miaka inakuja mahali watakuwa mm. Mm. na watie bidii eh. eh. wazazi mm. ungewataka kuambia nini um. kitu ya kwanza ni mahali wazazi wamenitoa na sasema asandi na mimi hata venye nimewashikilia siwezi taka hata kitu hata moja ama bibi yangu anitoa kwa wao juu ni watu wengi mabibi wanakujanga wanaanza kusema wazazi wako si wazuri mm. ama nini mimi nilisema hata nikaandika kwa roho yangu bibi yangu heri tufanye mambo mengine ama tuko sana lakini si mambo ya wazazi mm. juu kama si wao singe muona na singe kuwa nimefika hapo so mi nashukuru wazazi wangu mahali wamenitoa mi niko na baraka zao yes. nimewalinda na every saturday ama nikikoza mi naendanga nyumbani mm. mamangu nimeshikilia vizuri babangu watoto wale wako nyumbani na wasomesha so wanafurahia pia nyanyangu Good. na mi niko na baraka za wazazi amen mm. uko na baraka za wazazi and, na wazazi mm. mi naonanga vijana wanakuja anaanza kutusi vijana wazazi ama wazazi mm. wanapao wapatie respect mm. Mm. Si baraka inaanzianga kwa wazazi. Mm. Wazazi ndiyo wanakupatia mm. baraka mm. na Mungu pia hapo. So Afo. lazima uinuke. Mm. So watu wasione ati mimi ni kama kuna vitu natumia ama nimefika hapo. Ni wale tu wazazi na Mungu. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Uh, nataka ku invite your interior designer mm. at ata yetu. Nimeona ako na bike kali hapo nje. Hiyo <laughs> bike ni yake. Eh yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, so sasa mimi kazi yenu ni ndege na mabikes tu. <laughs> I want to invite your interior designer <laughs> yeah. but before ni invite <coughs> so hapa nyinyi mmefanya molding mm. interior huko ndani nyinyi wote eh wote sasa mimi mm. nimefanya moldings mm -hmm. idiri ya nimefanya moldings mm. idiri ya designer mm. yeye ndio alikuwa sasa na amebeba ile uzito uzito 
Ndiyo sasa amefanya hii nyumba iko hivyo. Mm. Juu kiangalia modi zangu, mm. nimeleta kampuni yangu, mm. tukapaka rangi, yes. interior designer ndio amenini cashage. Yes. Tutaingia ndani uone kazi yake. Eh. Pia yeye atasema kazi yake. Hata hata yeye atuambie. Eh, Nimefanya for how long? Nimekaa na yeye. Karen wapi? Eh. Tuko hivi na yeye. Eh. Hata I think siji jana ndio alikuwa ameniambia ametoka Mombasa. Eh. Mm, alienda kazi yuko. Alienda kazi yuko. Mm. Good job. Acha mm. ni invite my people but before I do that of course I have to give a huge shout out uh, to our people at uh, Safaricom for sponsoring this episode. Hapo kuna initiative inaitwa Twinuane and you can tell this episode is all about kuinua watu. Alex, asante mm. sana kwa wale watu wenye umeinua. Ni poa kujuukuli unga peke yako. Ah, eh cha muhimu ni kuinua wa kuinua wa to see yeah. yeah let's go beyond guys let's go together thank you so much uh, to Inuane uh, by Safaricom for sponsoring uh, this episode and I always say they have amazing credit uh, data bundles peer bonga points uh, unaweza nunua nazo food na sasa my people are chenin invite kuja hapa watu wangu wa kuone she is so pretty I'll have to show you her bike she is amazing <laughs> Atini mshae sasa acheni mu meet uh, the interior designer mwenye amefanya hii kazi safi hapa tunapatanga watu anawea yeah so alex unaweza kaa tu hapo juu Sa. na unaweza tu mbi, mko yu. yes hapo juu eh, karibu sana hi <laughs> are you there <laughs> kidogo <laughs> karibu sana yes ni muhimu you know here we are all about acknowledging mm -hmm. watu kawa kwanza your work is beautiful mm -hmm. i think alex the first time niliingia hapa niliuliza nini niliangalia wapi ara nilikuwa nimesema tunashutia wapi <laughs> ya yeah, uh, ni bro tulikuwa na yetu tulikuwa nimesema tunashoot wapi hapo penye wameka and it's good to know that your work siwezi maliza hii episode bila ku acknowledge efforts zako niliona hata tukisumbuka na set pale unatuambia weka hii na hii so maybe we introduce kwa my people na uambie pia wewe kazi unafanya na cha muhimu tuambie u jamaa umemjua for how long my name is uh, Damaris Bell yes uh, nimefanya architectural design na interior design yeah. Uh, nimefanya kazi na Alex uh, for quite some time yeah. and uh, I met him in one of the projects in Karen yeah. and uh, I remember my client was not so big on uh, Ima wa maua. he just wanted a house to live in mm. and then I told him there's something we can do extra that would beautify this house mm. na hakuwa mini mm. because he didn't understand what we were talking mm. about mm. so we went to classic moldings na akaangalia ile kazi walikuwa nafanya uko and he thought it was too expensive for him mm. Plus what they were offering was very good but ya fiber. Mm. Nikamwambia ninajua kijana mmoja anafanya kazi ya molding, anafanya concrete molding. So I took Alex's number. I'd seen his work before and someone gave me his number so I called Alex. Mm. He was very respectful na akakuja paka site. I'd never met him but alifanya kazi very professional and my client really likes Alex oh. sana. Mm. Alifanya kazi mzuri sana. Mm. Yes. You, were, you you are an interior designer. Yes. Maybe just a, a bit of background. Mimi naona tukulete paints by global. Utupatie story yako. Eh cuz man your work is beautiful, but just a bit of background about your work and this place what exactly have you done and what do you love about working with Alex? Well, nimefanya uh, kazi different types of jobs. Yes. Uh, there are residentials, mm. kuna mahali unapata maofisi, mm. unapata kazi ya clubs pia. And uh, I've done this for quite uh, some time, yeah. give it about uh, 10 years uh, or so. Yeah. And uh, I've had mentors along the way, na kuna watu wengi sana wamenisaidia kuniinua mm. nikafika mpaka mahali nilipofika. Mm. And when I met Alex the first time, this something I believe. Ukiwa pale chini you need someone to mentor you and to hold your hand. That chance and that opportunity that you get here kuenda to the next step. So when I met Alex Lebedini Leona Kiwa Nayo, he was very charged na kazi yake. Yeah. And he was alikuwa halegei. And along the way, like now, when I came to this site, nilikuwa nimefanya kazi na Alex before in another site. Mm. But he is the one who introduced me to the client ambaye mwenye ako kwa hii site. Yes. So he brought me in, we've worked together, 
and I really like the way he works professionally. Mm. Mm. Wow, Kabla to end the episode, maybe we can start with you, Alex. If mm. people, I forgot, if people want to get hold of you, wana kupata wapi? Mimi wakingia mm. YouTube, yes. najita Prezologistic Modings, yes. niko na YouTube channel yangu. Mm. Facebook, najita Alex Modin Style. Yeah. Instagram, najita Alex Modin Style. Mm -hmm na niko na ofisi yangu uh -huh. pale Kasarani yes Proisabu yeah. Lumumba Drive mm. room number G4 okay. niko hapo niko na ofisi yeah. wakiingia kwa Google mm. watanipata mimi niko na website okay. mm. na kuna namba ya kazi hapo yeah. okay mm. na webe um i used to have an office yes. lakini kidogo mambo ya covid ikakuja yeah. And I realized that most of the time school fees are the interns who keep working yes, there. Yes. I'm always out in the field yeah. and I decided to be full-time field person. Okay. Yes. Any, web, any uh, social media handles, contact details? Uh, I work under Alex yes. and um, I get him to advertise my work yes. because I really don't have any social media. Okay. Most of my works I get them through word of mouth. Oh. Kikuja hapa, unaona kazi yangu, unafurahia. Which I think is more powerful. More than and more effective. Yes. Yes. Social media is also powerful, yes. but it's so is really referrals. Yes. 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 Uh, you are parting short to anyone that's watching. Ungetaka ku encourage aje. Mini getaka ku encourage vijana wadogo, young people, to get out there and do something. Because if you don't work hard, you don't get there. Namatu wengi wanavunjika moe because mesikia vile Alex amepata challenges and people get challenges out there ata mimi mekutana na challenges. But you need to be persistent and work hard. Vijana wana need kufanya bidi kwa maisha yao. Watu wache mchezo. Wache mchezo. Aya my people, that's it. Kujeni hapa mmoldiwe nyumba. Miuta ni moldia yangu. By grace through faith. Sawa sawa. Alright, bye bye.